This is a video about voltage loss when using low voltage landscape lighting in extremely long runs. This is just one of hundreds of videos we have posted to help you with your lighting projects. Landscape lighting installation confusion is mostly generated from old internet postings regarding voltage loss on older halogen landscape lighting systems. LED landscape lighting has changed the rules. Using a voltage loss table made for halogen will give you inaccurate information when using LED lighting and end up costing you way more than you should be spending. I made this video as people wanted to see a real world test, not a chart made by someone based on numbers that are just not really accurate. Let's get started. I'm going to do a single run of 500 feet. Yes, this is an extreme example, but it gives you a good handle on voltage loss on an extreme run. On a short run, say 150 feet or less, you don't even need to worry about it. A very long one, like the one we're going to do today, should be avoided whenever you can. A number of short, medium, and long runs are always better, keeping your total wattage down on the longest run. Here's an example. I'm going to walk you through the process without any fluff. We started with a brand new roll of number 16 gauge wire. Yes, number 16. It's the only wire we sell on our website. Made in America and works perfect with the 3M blue connectors. We use this 3M blue connector and buy them direct from 3M. Make sure you have the one with the gel in it and the four little ports. The right product will make your project go fast. Don't buy junk connectors. You will hate them when you're sitting in the dirt making connections. Back to the project. So I ran out all 500 feet in a continuous run, just like it was along your driveway or long path. I looped it on the grass in my backyard to make it easier to access for this video. You can see it here in the shot I did after it was all set up. So once the wire was out there, I started a test. First, I tested my incoming voltage. It was at about 121 volts. When we turned on the dryer in the house, it dropped to 119. This is not unusual, but you need to know that your home voltage fluctuates all day. And on project sites, we've measured from a low of 108 volts to a high of 131. Voltage into the transformer will affect the output, but don't worry about it. It's really not that important. We just thought you should know. The next measurement was the actual output of the transformer, 13.1 volts. Not bad at all. Actually very typical with the 121 volt input. If your home power is about 108 volts, you would see 12 volts or thereabouts at the transformer. We measure the transformer output at the common and 12 volt output terminals. The same place you would hook the wires to for the landscape lighting run. We have videos on this transformer as well as videos on most every subject of landscape lighting. Then we measured at the end of the 500 foot run of the number 16 wire with absolutely no load on it, no light fixtures, just the wire, all 500 feet of it, and it measured 13.1 volts. So the wire itself did not produce any voltage loss on its own. This is the real deal, not some assumption by someone that claims to know everything. You can see it right here. Next, I put a fixture right near the end on the 500 foot run. So another way to say that, it's almost 500 feet from the transformer. It's a landscape light, three watts of LED lighting. Here it is screwed to the top of my workbench. Then I did a second measurement at the end of the run with 500 feet of wire and one three watt light fixture and came up with 12.47 volts. So a tiny amount of loss, but with the fluctuations in the input power, not really any difference. We like to have about nine volts at least going to each fixture as a minimum. I started adding fixtures or loads to our long run. Here's where we went next. I added a fixture at 400 feet from the transformer and the voltage measured at the end of the run was 12.06. Then a fixture at 300 feet and it dropped to 11.8 volts. One more at 200 and the voltage dropped to 11.4. You can see the trend here, but nothing earth shattering. 
We added a fixture at 100 feet from the transformer, and the voltage drop at the end was 11.3. The voltage drop changes when you add more load at different distances from the transformer, so the percentage will change as you add bulbs at different distances. We added a fixture at 50 feet and measured again at the 500 foot end and now we have 11.2 volts. So let's review. We connected a 3 watt LED fixture at 50 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, 400 feet, and 500 feet. A total of just six fixtures with a total load of 18 watts of LED lighting. Just so you know, most of our path lights are either 2 or 3 watts. It's all you need for LED. I then added an additional fixture at 150, 250, 350, and 450. So four more fixtures at 3 watts for a grand total of 30 watts of LED fixtures, or 10 light fixtures. Then measured the voltage at the end and found 9.9 .9 volts. We now have some voltage loss. However, the lights all look about the same brightness. I took a look at night here in my test site and the fixtures looked really, really close. If we did this very same test with halogen bulbs, you wouldn't even see the last fixture putting out any light at all. So the takeaway, we have a lot of customers that think they need a number 12 gauge wire for long runs. But if the load is small and you're using LED lighting, it's just not so. Now let's say you want to have additional fixtures on this same run. Many of our transformers have an extra tap at a higher output voltage. The one in this photo shows a 12 volt and a 15 volt tap. Let's look at what happens when we move the tap or the load wire to 15 volts. As noted, our test with 10 fixtures on a 500 foot run of number 16 wire has an end voltage of 9.9 .9 volts. Not bad. When I move the tap to the 15 volt output, the end voltage is now 11.54 volts. Now we have a lot more room to add more LED lights to the ridiculously long run. Here's the takeaway. If you tap at the 15 volts, take your voltage meter, and we have a video on how to use one, they only cost $15 at Ace Hardware, and take the reading at the first light on your run, closest to your transformer. We show you here where we're actually doing this, and we show a voltage reading of 13.6 volts. Still not a problem but you really don't want much higher on your LED bulb. The takeaway when using a 15 volt tap, you do not want excessive voltage at the first light, no matter how far it is from the transformer. The first light is important as extremely high voltage will make the bulb burn out sooner. So what actually affects the voltage loss in landscape lighting runs? Number one, wire gauge. Number two, wire length. Number three, wattage total and wattage based on the distance from the transformer, number four, input voltage to the transformer, and number five, your voltage output on your transformer. This one has two taps. Some have up to five, and the cheap one from that big box store only has one. Do not overthink your project. This is very easy. Keep your voltage at the first fixture at a good level, no more really than 13.5 volts. Use a meter to check it. If you're doing short runs, like under 150 feet, you don't actually have to care about any of this. Use the 12 volt tap, run your fixtures out there, and everything will look great. Most of our transformers, you can have multiple runs. Run out to the left, run out to the right, have a short run for up close, and a longer run out to the end of the driveway. This way you can split up the load and keep the voltage loss on the long run to a minimum. Doing it this way will help you avoid using a number 12 wire. Number 12 is just a pain to work with. It is expensive and unnecessary. Finally, consider our fixtures, transformers, and wire. We are a family-owned business and keep our profits in the community. We care about what we do and the results you get. We take care of our customers. If you purchased your system from our competitors, I'm sure they will give you the same level of service we do. Or maybe not. Something to think about. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. 
Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.